Hello and welcome to tutorial number 18 of NS2 learning series. Uh, in the last tutorial we uh, understood what a wireless sensor network is and how is it different from a normal mobile ad hoc network. Uh, this is in continuation to the previous tutorial. This is part 2 of wireless sensor networks. In this tutorial we are going to simulate the wireless sensor network and we are going to analyze the output in trace graph so if you are a new user and you have not um, and if you're not familiar with trace graph you can uh, check out my previous videos where I explain the installation of trace graph on Ubuntu and uh, how to use it to analyze output of uh, NS2 simulation files. Now in this particular tutorial which is uh, the part 2 of wireless sensor networks we already have uh, we already have simulated one sensor network and the TCL file for the wireless sensor network is sensor.tcl where <coughs> we talked about um, the energy distribution which is very important in wireless mo uh, sensor networks and the spatial distribution having said that uh, we uh, let's run the simulation once again I deleted the output files from the last run okay now uh, in this particular network uh, the node 3 is the sink and uh, many people like to call it the base station also because all the uh, sensor networks they are going to communicate with the base station which in our case is termed as or labeled as sync and of course node 0 1 and 2 are the actual sensor networks uh, they are moving uh, slowly and uh, they have some movement in them and that will affect the performance if you uh, manipulate the movement of the sensor nodes and if you manipulate the energy of the sensor nodes you'll get results uh, which will vary and then you need to analyze those results so that is it we we have completed the simulation so we've gotten the output files scenario one dot trace and scenario one dot nam now in order to analyze this let's go to trace graph and in trace graph we would like to analyze the file scenario one dot trace trace graph uh, uh, our node 3 was the sync node or the base uh, transceiver station node so let me just analyze output for the same I go to network information I go to automatically refresh information I have specified the current node to be 3 and the routing protocol is AODB 
let's plot a 2D graph of throughput of receiving packets at current node all right let's save this figure as jpeg uh, let's save it as throughput of aodb okay and then let's plot a 2d graph for another parameter let us say jitter jitter of received packets at current node okay and let's save this figure as jpeg for jitter for aodb all right let me just quit this all right now I'll go to another file by the name of sensor2.tcl where I have changed the routing protocol and before I run the simulation I would delete the output files or you could make different set of outputs for sensor2.tcl I have just copied the mm, script from sensor to sensor2 so that is why um, I do not have a different set of outputs for sensor 2 which is not a good practice uh, now I go back to the folder and I'll run sensor tcl this time around okay I'm just uh, increasing the step size to let the simulation finish quickly once we are done with this we are going to analyze the throughput in the jitter at node 3 for uh, DSDV by that means we will have a comparison of two routing protocols on a similar wireless sensor network information for my node 3 and I'll create a 2d graph of throughput of receiving packets at current node it looks different let me just save it throughput for DSTV alright I draw the 2d graph for jitter and jitter of received packets at current node it looks terrible but different okay now I can go to the trace graph folder and yes I have some files the 
jitter KODV and jitter DSTV. So you can compare the performance of the wireless sensor network for two different routing protocols. Similarly, you can change uh, other network parameters like the energy model, the sensing power and so on and so forth and then uh, this is um, the throughput for AODV, this is the throughput for DSTV and I hope this helps and this sparks some new ideas and if it does, if it helps then click on the like, subscribe button and do not forget to comment and just let me know what all new tutorials you want to see in NS2 Learning Center. I'm going to be covering uh, multimedia traffic for NS2 real soon. So keep watching, stay tuned and you have a very good day. Bye bye.